Hi, this is Tracy Lahr from Snazzy Moon Designs. Today I am going to make a video to show you how to sublimate on keychain blanks. So let's get started. Okay, so first you're going to need sublimation keychain blanks. And these are the square ones. And you can't tell, but these have plastic film on them that you need to peel off. These are double sided blanks. So we'll have to peel the film off of it. I mean, it's hard to see it, but it's on there. Let's see if I can get started here. There it is. You gotta peel that off. Of each side. Of each side. There's a piece on each side. You don't peel that off, you'll know it. We got that side off. There's one on this side too. Luckily I have some kind of fingernails here. It's starting. Oh, come on. Yeah, I wanted to show you this though because a lot of people don't realize that there's this real thin film of plastic on here that needs to be peeled off okay so we have it peeled off both sides next thing you would need to do is measure your blank to see what size design you need so this one here is about two by two so when you make your design you want to make it a little bit bigger so I would go 2.1 or 2.2 you you want it to be a little larger than the actual key blank and if you come I've already got some made over here you can see this is what we're going to print so this is a double sided I'm going to make six of them so I need 12 images and those are set up for 2.2 and uh, we'll print them out here on this Epson ET4760 and when they're printed out We'll continue the video. Okay, so our designs have finished printing. And we're going to cut them out. So we're going to do six at a time. Do six on the one side and turn them over. And do six on the other side. So the six that I want to do... Uh, let me see. Okay, I think I see it. I made it hard on myself by doing it this way, but it'll be all right. Okay, so we got six for the front side and six for the back side. So now we've already peeled the plastic off of our keychain blanks, sublimation keychain blanks. So all we have to do is set them on here, and it's okay that our image is a little bit bigger than the actual keychain because that's what we want it's not hurting anything that way um, it's completely covered and you don't have to worry about any white around the edges so it doesn't really matter where you put the the hole for the key ring I just want mine to be all the same at the same place so we're gonna put them all like that Okay, once you got them on there, you can take some tape, heat tape, and tape them down. Okay, so I finished taping these all down, and I've got my press set for 370 degrees for 60 seconds. Again, that's 370 for 60 seconds. So now, make sure you have your parchment paper on the bottom. And when you press these, the paper goes on the top. So you gently flip them over, just like that. Put another sheet of paper on top. And we're going to press around. And start it off. 
Okay, we're approaching our 60 seconds. Go ahead and turn that off. Bring these over here so we can see. Okay, be careful because they're hot. You can see where the ink bleeds through. That's why you have to change your paper. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and peel one off. There you go. There's the back. I'm going to go ahead and peel the rest of these off and uh, we'll finish the video. Okay, so I put five of them together. I'm getting ready to put the last one. And this is how you do it. You just take your little plastic uh, hanger or clip. Put in the hole like that. Take your ring. Set it over there. Fold this over. Snap it in just like that. And there we have a sublimated keychain. Hopefully this video helped you. And uh, you've learned how to make keychain uh, blanks. And uh, you'll like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.